I'm gonna stick my neck out just to see if it gives you that little snap. Ready? One, two, three. Oh yeah, when the turbo kicks in. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's it's definitely very, very quick. Hi guys, Alex Peak Performance Reviews. Welcome to another vlog and welcome to another car review, so to speak. You'll see in the background there is a Mark 8 Volkswagen Golf R and it has preloaded a Stage 2 Revo software package on it. So it's got the um, intercooler, um, an intake, carbon intake from Revo, as well as um, a big brake kit from Revo Alcon, which is 380 mil. Um, the flow forged um, 18, oh, sorry, 19 inch alloys on that as well. And like I say, stage two package in uh, terms of the tune. I'm gonna also show you something really, really cool and trick and new to some of the range of these uh, cars. And that is the map switching on the steering wheel, which is amazing. So I'm gonna show you that probably first before we go out. And then I'm gonna show you some, hopefully some spec and some testing and just yeah, general drive of how it feels, how it goes, considering they're 330 stock and that's now about circa, I think 433 horsepower, should be awesome. But yeah, anyway, watch on. If you've got any uh, questions, um, links in the bio to obviously Revo's um, socials and um, the contact here at the RPC Centre. Um, and like I said before, if you've got any questions, hit us up in the comment section and yeah, enjoy the video. Right, so yes, rolling out, as I said, um, I was gonna explain to you, now we have this awesome map switching um, software that Revo now do which effectively removes the necessity for an SPS switch which used to be that box that would have a rotary cow switch that you could change the and flip the maps on um, so you can kind of be in a stock map a 95 run map if you find yourself in a place where it just doesn't have any um, high octane fuels and 97 then you've got a 99 and you've even got a 102 almost like a race fuel map and then i think also you've also got like a um safety kill switch which is like a anti-theft mode as well so i'm going to just simply do it i think you hold um, and press set for four seconds and then the rev counter will basically show you um what um different mode you're in and obviously you just literally just press up here to what map you want to be in. I think we want to be in number four. You'd then just press start and you'd be ready in your mode, which that one's going to be like 97, 98 um, octane map. And then you go on your way. So it's a pretty impressive, awesome way of map switching on the fly really, really quickly, or just before, should I say, you go out in the car. Just awesome, really, really quick, really simplistic and I love that. This is pretty much ready to roll out for Revo and I'm really excited to see um, this implemented onto a lot of their other cars. So yes, yeah, pucker. So yes, we're out in the Revo Stage 2 Golf 8 uh, R. Um, 300, starts life at 330 horsepower and has now got three, uh, 433 horsepower, I believe, um, with a shed ton of torque to back that up as well. And I'll put all the tech spec and the figures uh, on the screen for you now as well. Um, but more importantly, I just want to see what this drives like. I've driven loads of iterations of Golf R's and I've even driven the 20th anniversary edition, which has the 8Y um, uh, diff and everything, which is awesome. But this one obviously could potentially be or should potentially be way more spicy than even that one. The reason why is obviously it's got a stage two package on it, including uh, front mount intercooler, nice carbon intake from Revo, the Alcon Revo uh, 380mm discs on here as well. Um, so yeah, it, it should be a very spicy package. Now, I'm not gonna review this car, I don't need to. I know the core chassis and dynamics on this car. Very, very good, may I add. But we just wanna kind of review the car in its essence. Now it's got the stage two package on it. It's got all the nice little basic supporting mods that it needs to have to go really, really fast and to have this stage two package on. As I did show you before I set off the awesome new um, switching on the steering, which is awesome. You'll probably see me bounce and bobble around because I've put it straight in R mode. We can only do it in that mode. We haven't got long with the car as such, and I want to make sure it's in the most spicy mode. Um, you should be able to hear me quite well because I'm all mic'd up. But yeah, I'm excited to go out on this. It's a lovely day out here in the UK. We're probably circa 19 degrees, which is amazing this time of year. So There's perfect conditions for us to give this a little bit of a rip. And I just want to kind of give, I suppose, a comparison knowing 
what a kind of standard spec one feels like. So what it's like in comparison to standard and maybe even comparing it something like, say, an RS3, for example. Now, anyone who's been in a Golf R and has gone in a Golf um, in a RS3 will know that an RS3 is obscenely quick. So I want to get an idea in my head as to how quick this car is, because I suspect this will be quicker than even a um, an RS3. Maybe not obviously a tuned one, but still to think that it can be around that level of speed is unreal because at the end of the day, the core start package is a Golf R, which is already phenomenal. But to, to kind of be in those realms is, you know, just amazing. But with 433 horsepower, it should 100% be, yeah, it should definitively be considerably quicker than, a, um, than an RS3, which I think is, an, an, and should I say, a latest generation um, RS3 or an 8V2, any of those two iterations, which are both super quick cars. So, yeah, I'm intrigued to see how this feels how it grips and um, yeah, just fundamentally how quick it is really. So I'm gonna find a nice road for you and I'll cut to a transition and we'll, uh, we'll get pushing it on and see what it's like. So I suppose while we've got a bit of time before we hit these beautiful country roads, I might as well talk to you a little bit about the car, because to be fair, it's got the Revo Alcon um, upgrade as well. So the brakes are already feeling so much better than a standard package Golf R. So it's worth talking about that. And also this striking um, Revo decals on this car as well look absolutely awesome. So we're getting a lot of attention, a lot of um, looks, um, all for good reasons. It's like I say, a really, really striking, lovely car. Um, and yeah, like I say, the core package on this car is absolutely superb. It's um, Revo have thought about not only, you know, really going and stopping. Um, they've got kind of a nice um, all rounded package for a car that has this kind of power. And I think that is important. I would say Golf R's um, have got relatively decent brakes, but only um, up to the point of before you really rattle on and you really, really push it. And if you have got this kind of power, I really do think it's worth 100% uh, um, categorically worth that big brake um, upgrade on this car because I think like say whereas the RS3 has a good um, uh, standard uh, caliper this um, and, and probably disc size even this kind of um, has a decent size but when you're really pushing on if you've got 430 odd horsepower you you, you really want to have a lot more brake so um, but yeah the car feels um, it's worth noting that the car feels absolutely standard at the moment I'm not putting my foot down um, it sounds pretty normal it pops and bangs a little bit more you can hear that but the core essence of the car in even R feels really responsive really refined and non-jerky which is worth noting because you can have a map on a car it can completely change the characteristics low down which you, you don't really want because when you're just like pooling around you don't want the car to be all jumpy on you and feel strange it feels really really accomplished and um it's really refined which is you, like I say, you wouldn't think those two things go hand in hand. You've got that Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde character. Um, but I love the fact that this is how the, this car feels, um, even though it is, you know, got lots of nice little parts on it. But yeah, enough gabbling that. I, um, let's crack on with these uh, country rows and enjoy the car. And if I can get any tech spec for you or, or any onboard um, performance for you, I'll get some and I'll let you know as well uh, what we find. But yeah from uh, first drive and first feels feels really good but the more, most important bit is the performance so let's get on with that okay so i may as well go for a first few uh, little pulls just to feel what the car feels like i'm purposely going to stick my neck out just to see if it gives you that little snap ready one two three. Oh yeah when the turbo kicks in <laughs> jesus yeah, it's, it's definitely very, very quick. And yeah, that's that's very, it doesn't feel like a Golf R anymore, if that makes sense. It, it feels like it's, you can hear it's a Golf R, but that performance is on a whole different level. And yeah, it does feel more like a, um, yeah, a mildly modified RS3, for example. Well, my, my RS3 out of the factory doesn't probably feel as quick as that. And that is a rocket ship of a car. So this is definitely, definitely very, very fast. <laughs> Woo! And it stops really well as well, which is even better. Like I say, those Revo 
uh, Alcon brakes are absolutely phenomenal. It does have, this car does have the um, some Ibac Pro Springs on it as well, which you can feel, it feels very nice and competent. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a serious weapon. We're gonna come up to some uh, twisty roads um, and then that will probably allow us to feel the flexibility of the engine a little bit more low down and mid range a little bit more rather than just kicking it on a roll. So yeah, I'll um, do that now as well and get some video for you for that on that as well. Like I said before, guys, if you've got any questions, hit us up in the comment section. But Alex definitely approved so far. This is uh, really, really good. Guys, if you've got a Golf R, get it down to Revo and get this Stage 2 software, get the supporting mods, because this is just like another car. It's just like another way more powerful, way more competent car all round and uh, Simon actually um, let me know that you can still get like you can get 40 mile per gallon out of this if you drive carefully which is amazing so you've got the best of both worlds in this car and yeah you've just got a car that effectively is likely to be quicker than um, something like a, an RS3 which is no um, easy feat it is unbelievable so yeah definitely uh, really really good all right let's go for another pull here we go Yeah, it's just, I mean, that is, it, it, it genuinely, I did say it a minute ago, it, it kind of, it, you know it's a Golf R because it sounds like Golf R, but it just, it just doesn't, it feels wrong almost. It doesn't feel like it is a Golf R anymore because it just feels so much quite faster. I mean, like a completely different, a different, different car and a different animal, but I like to say when you put it on the, the the normal like kind of comfort settings and stuff like that, it's then you know just so sedate but wow the performance is absolutely ballistic um and it's just relentless as well <laughs> yeah it's uh very impressive guys very very impressive i'm just going to do uh, a few more little pieces um around some of the uh, country roads as well some b roads um but wow wow amazing absolutely mind-blowing that is absolutely superb really really impressed okay so we've got some twisty roads coming up and you know like i say i want to just enjoy them um not going to go too crazy but just want to just um feel what the car likes how flexible it feels and how uh, capable it is um, low down mid range and just in its normal usability around the B roads just to see um, like I say stage two map and it feels amazing so that yeah let's give it a little push on I said I don't know the road so I'm gonna take them carefully But yeah, the mods, um, it's got uh, Michelin Pilot Sport um, 4S is on here. Like I said, the brakes. And it feels really good, really competent around it. And <laughs> do you know what? Actually taking out on a B road, actually, this is why I wanted to do it. it actually, that is when you feel it a lot more. Um, you, you, as long as you've got grip, like I say, this has got a great all wheel drive platform uh, chassis, but this is when I kind of get to feel actually how capable that map is in my opinion and that feels even better than it does on a motorway flexi punch pull that is just phenomenal like and and it gives you kind of that little indication of what this would be like on track and and that is phenomenal you you can feel it just absolutely launches you out of a corner um low down grip low down uh, flex from that motor great motor the ea triple uh, motor in lots of cars in this iteration only in a few and it's um, like i say there's loads of different codes but yeah what what an engine this is and yeah what a map this is it just feels like I say it feels silky smooth very refined um very flexible and just beautiful to use around the country road and like i say because you can feel that it works really really well on a on a nice twisty turny beam b road you can tell that around a nice tight circuit this would be really competent and absolutely amazing we've got a little bit of traffic here so we're not going to go too too fast but it's so capable we'll turn back around get a little bit of space and uh get you a bit more footage in a mo let's go Is 
just so capable. You'll see. <laughs> like I say, not roads that I know really, really well, but when a car's got a good chassis, anyone can drive it relatively fast and it's superb. It's just so capable. Like I say, this just, this map, like genuinely, I said it on, even on the motorway, you just, it just absolutely transforms this car from, yeah, a, basically a Golf R, a stock Golf R, which is a very quick car to, it, it genuinely feels like it covers ground, much like how I say an RS3 does, like almost supercar like. It's just, and it, yeah, maybe that sounds like an exaggeration, but, Honestly, around those kind of roads and around what I would imagine a track um, session would feel like in this kind of car, it is just so capable. <laughs> Traction control raining in the power, doing a great job, but honestly, this car is, guys, I'm telling you, this car is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And like any car on its hardest setting, with roads the way they are around the, um, <laughs> these B roads in the UK, you can probably feel that sometimes you'll get a thud. It, you know, we're in R mode, we're in the highest, hardest, harshest setting. Um, and the roads, you know what these um, UK B roads are like, especially this time of year. So you hear a few thumps from, thumps from the suspension. Obviously you'd expect uh, to hear that. But yes, um, what a car, what a transformation stage two package with supporting mods you know way or, or around 100 horsepower gain with so much torque like i say i'll give you uh, the links in the bio to everything um it, it is just phenomenal it just transforms this car into yeah like a little baby supercar it's just crazy quick you you definitely have got a car which is more capable and quicker than um, uh, a stock RS3. I'd imagine it's a bit like a mildly modified um, RS3. It's that quick. I mean, RS3s are insanely quick and Golf Rs are really, really quick cars, but this car is ballistically quick. And like I say, this map has transformed it in all the most positive, amazing ways you can think of. Um, if you've got a Golf R, guys, honestly, get yourself down to Revo and the guys. Uh, I am absolutely blown away. I I knew I'd be impressed, but I didn't think it would be that quick. Because on paper, my head said, it's going to be a quick car. There's no doubt about it. 433 horsepower. But that has blown my mind. It is genuinely, obscenely quick. Not too quick, just so quick but so usable as well. And that's the key thing about this uh, map and how these uh, the guys at Revo put these tunes together. It takes loads of development, loads of refinement, and yeah, they've absolutely smashed it out of the park. Absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, guys, I hope you watched, uh, um, enjoyed the video. Um, as always, like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye for now.